I would definitely recommend PRN funding. And the reason behind it is PRN funding is not only a company that loans you money, but they're there to help you grow. They want you successful because they want to be successful. Select Respiratory was for sale. It was a small uh, respiratory staffing company. Uh, had a couple of facilities and about five therapists, and the price was right. And I had an opportunity to go ahead and buy it, and I decided to go ahead. I knew because of being in respiratory and as a respiratory therapist uh, that there was a shortage of therapists uh, in the Cleveland area. And uh, the institutions were, you know, running short. When there's a recession, most people don't grow. We were growing at a 39% increase yearly. And uh, that's a, a large growth. And what it was is trying to get loans from the banks. They just weren't interested in loaning. Like anything else, uh, to get the best, you got to pay higher. And we did. We were the highest paying company. Uh, we did it for a reason, to draw the best talent. With a recession, though, again, we're going right back to the same fact is that in order to pay the best, you have to have the cash flow. Mm -hmm. uh, in a recession time, uh, the receivables come in slower. And it's very difficult for, uh, as you get slow receivables, your cash flow slows up. You're paying higher uh, um, payroll. Uh, you know, you're still trying to keep your 34% margins that uh, you land up with a problem. I did what everybody else does, and I went on the web. And I was looking through different places, and I came across PRN funding. Well, PRN is a medical term. And I realized, okay, here's somebody who must know something about medical. Then when I researched it further, and of course I would, any good thing would be to have somebody a local company. It's easier to deal with. It was local. And so I, I gave a call to PRN funding. It might be a little bit more than the banks, but at the same time, the banks weren't loaning. So uh, it was a, a way to achieve the cash flow and uh, still pay a small interest compared to losing the client, losing the therapist. And I thought it was uh, a great opportunity. I interviewed several, and the one that stood out was Phil. Phil walked in the door, he came and visited me. Mm -hmm. We sat down, we talked, we discussed the recession, we discussed business, we discussed the fact that what my industry was. Phil was very familiar with it. Uh, with his background, uh, it was a good fit. I, I felt comfortable with him, he felt comfortable with me. We actually uh, were able to um, agree that day. Well, as we grew, I uh, kept the company for um, roughly three years. But uh, one reason I bought it is that I wasn't in the best of health, uh, but it was an opportunity. What I didn't realize is with the speed that we grew, that it would become really more detrimental to my health. Um, and it was time to sell, not because of the industry, not because of the, uh, the growth. It was just that it was weighing on me, so I put the company up for sell. Phil was, again, a good friend to help in that. I met Phil uh, for lunch. We sat down, I informed him that I thought the company was for sale. We looked at it, and uh, I told him what I thought, and I said, if you can put the feelers out, I'd appreciate it. What he did is he gave me the names of people who'd be interested. He recommended um, the level that he thought uh, they could achieve to continue the growth, because the one important thing is I didn't want to just sell the company. I wanted the company to continue. Uh, my reputation, uh, my allegiance to it, I wanted to see the company continue to grow. Uh, I'm still involved into it, uh, but I wanted the company to grow. I wanted somebody who understood it and somebody who wanted to do that. And uh, I met a gentleman named Steve Marcus, and uh, we've turned out to be good friends, and he's an excellent owner.